hello five actions that you have to take immediately to protect your data your information and your privacy on iphone so come and watch hello and welcome back to my channel and in this video i'll help you to protect your data your privacy and to make your phone more secure so to help you to protect your privacy and to limit the ad and the ad tracking you need to do the following steps first go to settings on your phone and then go to privacy option scroll down all the way down to ads or advertising option and click on this one and here you will see limit ad tracking turn this on this is number one number two you need to block the wi-fi tracking in order to do so and block the wi-fi tracking you need to do a simple and easy step which is update your ios as simple as this and you know to update the ios you need to follow these instructions go to your settings and then general from there you can select software update update your software if it is not updated yet and make sure to turn this on so the third countermeasure that you have to do is to set a stronger passcode to your system so now you can set something not just digits now you can set some alpha numerical password and to do so go to settings and face id and passcode enter your current passcode and then scroll all the way down to change passcode option and here enter your current one as well and now click on passcode options as you can see here now select custom alphanumeric passcode and here now you are able to enter any letters any characters and any combination of special characters as well so in the future i'll teach you in another video how to select a strong password and what are the actual features of strong passcode and password now there is another kind of attacks which is the brute force attack so how to protect yourself against this kind of attacks that will try to figure out and to find your password and your passcode especially if you are entering a weak one a weak passcode then it will be much easier for the attacker to find out the passcode of yours so that's why you need to make it more stronger and here i'll show you how to overcome this problem and how to enable some countermeasures to help you to keep your data safe and secure so first go to your settings and then scroll down and go to face id and passcode again enter your current passcode and from here scroll down and you can check this option here erase data so when someone enter your password incorrectly for 10 times then all the data will be deleted from this iphone so you need to keep your data safe assuming that you have a backup you are backing up your information your phone data from time to time frequently here is another countermeasure that you have to turn on and to set on your phone to make a multi-layer protection on your system so in case that someone can access or get your password and somehow or guess your password to get into your iCloud or your backup data or your system then there is another layer that the user or the attacker must enter and here there is another code temporary code that you will receive maybe by your email or by a text message that you have to provide in addition to the passcode of your phone 
to be able to access your backup and your data on iCloud. Now go to the settings and click on the top on your name. Here is your name, here is your account. Click on password and security. And here is the option two-factor authentication. Make sure it's on, turn it on if it is not, and provide the your phone number and your email address to receive the temporary code that you will need every time you are accessing your iCloud account from a new computer or new device or from everywhere else. Least privilege is another security principle that you need to implement. Here, you need to give the minimum resources to each and every application that is running on your device. So one of the things that we can do is to disable the Bluetooth access from or for some of the applications that we are using. And this is one of the options that the new iOS is providing you with. So we want to block applications from having Bluetooth access. So I show you how to block some applications from uh, getting access to your Bluetooth if you don't need that. So go to your settings and then privacy option here, click on this and then go to Bluetooth option as you can see here. And here are the set of all the applications. So disable which one you want to disable and now you are able to control which applications are able to use your Bluetooth. Data leakage is another threat that we have to control and this is one of the things that we can do with the new iOS and this one is how to control the notification data leakage. So uh, you know when uh, you receive some notifications, these notifications will be displayed on your screen. So we need to unshow the details of notifications if and when the device is locked. So to prevent showing these important notifications when your phone is locked, you need first to open the settings, go to notifications, and from there you can see at the top show previews when your phone is unlocked then these notifications will be displayed otherwise will not be shown so in the coming videos we will be talking more about security and privacy and the security of your smart devices your router your uh, safety and security of your kids and your network as well so to watch more of these videos make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be the first one receiving the latest videos and do not forget to like and share to share this knowledge with your loved ones thank you and have a nice day